what is the, the homework and what is the homework serving? And then what is the rehearsal and what is the rehearsal serving? You have to understand the work you do at home is for rehearsal. And rehearsal is there to see if what you've done at home is working. And if it's not working, your job is then to go home and refine what you've learned in rehearsal so you can make things more specific, so you can make things more clear, so you can make things more visceral, so you can stimulate yourself. But the homework is there for you to start creating knowledge about what the scene is about, what the character is about, what the character wants, what the relationships are to each other in the space. What is the relationship to the environment in the space? What do you want from the other person? What's getting in the way of the other person? What has the history that has brought you to that here and now have to do with this moment? How does that fill you? And how does that inform you? What you want from that other person? When you bring all of that to the rehearsal, then you drop it and you test out your work. And this is not just for class. This is, this is the rehearsal process. You have to literally do the homework so you have something to work with in the space. So it isn't just this, this chaotic experience of pulling everything out of nowhere and just seeing where the scene goes. You know, you have to use your homework to bring the life, and then you have to test out the life with your partner. It's really easy for us to start picking and choosing things to create an idea of what we think it is and then try to play that idea in the space. So how do, you, how do you do that? What do you do? One of the main things you have to be willing to ask yourself is, what is literally going on in this scene? So what's literally going on is going to be different than what essentially is going on. What is literally going on is something you're doing and your partner's doing based on the text. But then when you essentially ask yourself, well, what am I essentially doing in the space? That's really where the want comes into play, right? Because what we're necessarily doing doesn't always necessarily mean that's really what it is, right? There's, there's things behind what we do. We're going to have to read the play multiple times to understand who these people are. Then, you're going to have to ask yourself, what is the world of the play? Meaning, what is the whole theme of this play? So I know I can start making choices based on this umbrella. So I'm not in my own play. In order for you to fill character dynamics, you have to read the play, reread the play, read the play, reread the play. So you start to understand the tone. So you start to understand the umbrella. So you can start to fulfill the writer's vision of this world, right? Then you have to say, well, what is this world? How do these people live? The tools you have are obviously the accumulation of your life experiences, personalization, substitution, um, observation, um, research, and then marrying all that with your imagination. All this is in order to really do this kind of world, you really now have to start exercising your work and your craft as an actor so you can fill this text, so you can fill this world, so you can fill the comedy, and you don't feel like you're stepping outside of it, judging yourself, and, and something that you feel like is not based in truth. You're plugged into the truth because you found the truth. Not you trying to fit into the world, but you finding that world within you so you can then reveal the world and use the tools that you're learning in here, so you can bring that to life. And that is the difference between the person that you consider your favorite actor, and then the actors that you don't consider. So the common denominator is that everybody works their butts off in implementing process and craft to do the work that is the same work that you look up to. And so you really have to like keep understanding, keep digging, making choices and keep testing them out. Go home, refine, and go to rehearsal and test it out again and see what's working and then what's not. Go home, refine, and all that stuff. So the process is there for you. So all that stuff can stimulate you and resonate with you to then go after something and remain active in the space.